Hey guys, Twins here, and today we're going to be building traps that you can put on the map. Alright, so we're uh, going to be showing you guys a workout that we do um, that we incorporate into our shoulder workout to help us build like a stronger, more thicker upper back. So um, it's called the farmer's walk. You guys probably all know about it already, mm -hmm. but we really, really recommend it because it's not just a regular like a shoulder press or like a side lateral raise. It's also one of those workouts where we like to call it a calorie roaster, right? You're doing, it's a, a cardio workout too. You're getting heavy, heavy weight, and you're walking a distance with these heavy weights at both sides uh, of your body. And uh, it's a fairly easy uh, movement. All you gotta do is, what we recommend doing, is grabbing half of your weight in each uh, arm. So if you weigh, you know, if you weigh 100 pounds, 50 pounds in each arm. Mm. The kids don't try it at home. <laughs> Assuming you're a kid weighing 100 pounds, if you're a man weighing 100 pounds, welcome to our channel. We're going to show you how to put some muscle on. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So it's a, it's a great, great movement, and it's, uh, I'd say it's really helped yeah, us. It's, 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 it's one of those, it's one of those, uh, we've, uh, you, you <laughs> may see, you may see a lot more weight on our shoulders because we've been doing farmer's walk since we were a child. I've, uh, I've been doing farmer walk my whole life, you know, growing up on the farm, I carry cow on both shoulder. No kidding. Yeah, so no. this is nothing to me. No kidding, brother. <laughs> anyway, uh, where did I go? <laughs> welcome what back. What welcome back. So, welcome back. Uh, so I want to say that though, uh, doing the farmer walks is one of those workouts where I really feel it the next day. And I, uh, oh, yeah, I feel this much more than right doing here. shrugs, much more than doing shrugs, yes. because shrugs, it seems like one, you can put too much weight on and your form goes to crap. Yeah. And two, you probably don't do the proper motion because you're one, using a shrug machine, right? You know, those guys on the floor or two, you're using the squat rack. And at that point, it's like, where do you hold the bar in front of you or behind you? It's like, you know, what are you doing? Mm. Which one is it? Which is yeah. it? Pooey Herman dance. I want to say that 95% of people don't know how to do a shrug correctly. Me, me, honestly, well, maybe we were, uh, a phone call just uh, interrupted our little recording here. So just a little glitchy. <laughs> we, just, we just had to uh, hang up on that, whoever that was. Ignore. Um, anyway, so... The uh, farmer's walk, you can do it with kettlebells, if you've got them, or bells. Kettlebells. Balls. Bills. <laughs> Bulls. <laughs> if you got them, if you got them big enough, like, you know, we're weighing 180, so they really don't have 90 pound uh, kettlebells at our place. But all that means is that we have to walk the extra distance. Yeah. Or you can use a trap bar, you know, those uh, um, um, a hexagon... Uh, bar kind of half hexagon whatever kind of like the rear axle of a car yeah. you hold that and it's essentially the same thing it puts the weight actually it's actually really good we recommend that for deadlifts too because it puts the weight right at your center yeah which means that you can lift it a lot more a lot, pr lot more properly and all at the same time you don't have to worry about your shins getting messed up so you're going to see us doing some farmer walks and uh, hopefully it'll motivate you to want to give it a shot. And mm -hmm. the next time you're in the gym with your friend, and he says, we gotta work some traps. And he says, how about we do shrugs? You go, no. Today, we're doing farmer walks. Distance-wise, though, um, there's really no set distance to go. We usually say, all right, I'm gonna go from here to, to there, there, yep. you know, there. So, I usually go until it's like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna drop it, yeah. I'm gonna look like a fool. Yeah, it's actually, oh it's actually a really good grip workout, too. Yeah. We had, the day after, we had some Terminator grip, and I felt bad for anyone I met that day. I'm sorry, guys. So, um, if you want to get, you know, one of those squeezing some cans grip, then uh, this is a good workout for you. Yeah. So, yeah. Look at that definition. Hopefully that's good. <laughs> I'm popping my neck to block off. Because you only get one first impression. And breaking someone's hand bones, they'll remember you for the rest of their life. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Life lesson tag style. So hey, it's a twofer. 
Actually, it's a three for. <laughs> for one, you're gonna get to the good, uh, mm -hmm. thick upper back. For two, you're gonna be a uh, Terminator grip. Yeah, like a lobster man. And three, cardio. It's a good, good cardio. You know, it's gonna be getting some sweat. So I say, from mm -hmm. now, right now, do it outside. Don't wear sunscreen. Get a nice tan. Press the ladies. Get big shoulders. Lobster grip. I'm telling you, the list goes on. Check it out. All right, so we're gonna be using this trap bar here. And we're going to be using, like we said, half your weight in each arm. And we're using, so about 90 pounds on each arm. These are about 45 pound plates. Soft, there's a soft plate this way. If you want to, we can drop them. So, uh, so we're going to load this up. Alright, so yes, here it is all set up and ready to go. We've got 90 pounds in each side, weigh 180 pounds like that. Uh, I don't know how much the trap bar itself weighs, so we're assuming this weighs at least 180 pounds. So it could be more, could be whatever, 225, who knows. Huh. I'm uh, wearing a belt. This is a new thing that we're doing because we've been uh, wearing a belt, uh, no belt for such a long time, and we're really just trying to see how well they, uh, it can be used to let, um, not thicken our waistline, because we've been doing a lot of heavy deadlifts with no belt, which is kind of like what we recommend for athletes. We've said it before, it's good mm. for... Good for, trunk strength. Yeah, strength. getting a good trunk strength, but we want to see, like, does it help with, like, a tapered look? Yeah, like we're a corset. Also, we're also athletic models, so we need to... You don't want to have, like, a, a thick, muscular obliques, because everybody... If you don't know this, if you have thick, muscular obliques, it kind of... It looks like love handles. It's not the same thing, but to the untrained eye, yeah. it might look like love handles. So it's not something that many most people don't want. Wouldn't want. But uh, so anyway, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna walk from here. I'm gonna, you kind of deadlift it up. You know, if you know how to do a deadlift, except my hands are gonna be right here. I deadlift it up. I'm gonna walk from from here to that tire over there, and then back. And uh, that could be a roughly a total distance of. I don't know, maybe like 80 yards from here to there and back. So yeah, roughly, 80 to 100. 80 to 100 yards. And then, I mean, come on, look at this. How badass is it again? It's like you're lifting the back of a car, especially with these big ass weights on here. It's like, it's like the rear end of a Corvette. It's like, I feel like Superman. Pick up a car. I mean, most people don't think it's really heavy, but it's more than me. I go. same distance. So now my brother's a little bit tired. Ooh, it's freaking hot in the sunshine state. 